Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So it is a Friday, May 14th, and it's been around three weeks since we caught these two swarms, and I've really been looking forward to getting in there and checking them out. So uh, after I caught them, uh, hive number 22, which is the one on the left, the first one I caught, uh, it had a virgin queen in it, and I had found her, and I put her in a queen clip. And uh, I left her in there for a day. Uh, we got a bunch of rain after that, and after the rain cleared, and we had a big hailstorm come through here, had a window busted out. But uh, I got in there and uh, released her, <clears throat> and that same day I released her, I checked uh, the other swarm, and I went all through there, and I found a virgin queen in there. So uh, I shut them back up and I've not been in there since. So it's been around three weeks. I'll go back to my calendar and check and see exactly how long it was. But I'm really anxious to see if those queens got out and have mated and have made it back. So there's, there's good activity on the fronts of the hives. So that's a positive sign. Uh, they haven't absconded. But what has me worried... Uh, I have three hives that were good sized hives that I did the artificial swarms on, pulled the queens out, and they're requeening with swarm cells. All three of those are queenless at this point. Uh, two of them, I think there may be a queen in there, but she's not laying yet, but I haven't found evidence of a queen, so it's got me nervous. So that puts me at like 25% requeening. Uh, man, it is windy today. but. Uh, also, uh, I may have posted a video. If I did, I'm still debating whether or not to even edit it. It was so sad. But I had a, uh, <coughs> I had a nuke uh, split that was a, a split with a swarm cell. It had plenty of brood in there, had plenty of resources, pollen, uh, honey, lots of bees and and a queen cell and I fed it uh, at least one quart and maybe two and then we had two weeks of cold and rainy I checked that hive a couple days ago and it was dead all the bees basically were in the bottom and many bees were in the frames in the comb with their heads stuck in you know like you see coming out of winter when when a hive starves out I've never seen that before on a split like that in the nectar flow so we had us a really hard dearth during the nectar flow it looked like so that's why i'm concerned about these swarms so they were set up and they had a little bit of honey in there but not much but they had big population so in the nectar flow they could go out and get anything they needed but seeing the condition of that nuke that starved out i'm worried about them having enough food i did put top feeders on them and gave them each uh at least two gallons a piece uh, with top feeders but uh, let's get in there and hopefully we'll find us a couple of bread queens and they're laying so that would be awesome news let's get going okay so here they are it's a hive 22 on the left 23 on the right so front entrances look pretty good so if it will ever stop raining, I want to get out here and mow. Okay, let's get in here. Look on the lid for our queen, just in case. I don't see her. Looks like we put uh, four drawn out combs in here and the rest are new wax coated frames. The thing about swarms, they'll draw out uh, frames pretty quick. If you're having a good nectar flow anyway. They started on this one right here. Looks like this one's drawn out. Working on it. This side's full of nectar, so that's good. They've got uh, they've got resources. They're not starving. So you see the shiny nectar there in those cells. 
nice and calm I like that part wow this frame is heavy this is full of nectar both sides they're starting to cap it there at the top same thing on this side so some of that's probably the sugar water I fed them initially a couple gallons So I see larva. So we got us a laying queen in here. And capped brood. So she's been laying for some time. Because we've got the capped brood there, you can see. Good deal. So this puts us two for five on successful uh, virgin queens mating and returning this is uh so this was a comb that's uh, foundationless and she's laid this all up in fact it's all capped all this is capped same thing on this side so she's basically done with this frame uh, She's laid it all up and moved on. So I'll bet you we find her on this next frame because it's a brand new frame and it looks like they've got it all drawn out. And this is all a little bit capped in the middle and all larva around here uncapped. Here's where she'll be. This I see all eggs on here. Unless she's on that next one. So I can get a shot of the eggs in there. This whole frame is completely laid up. Well, I'm not seeing her. Uh, this next frame looks like it's fairly drawn out. So maybe she's already moved over there and is laying there. I think I see her, yep. Yeah. There's some weird stuff going on here too. Like maybe we got another queen no nope. so she's laying on this frame as well there she is I'm not going to mark her uh, just yet I want to let her finish uh, getting this initial uh, surge of laying in and uh, not disturb them anymore so once all these uh, brood that she's laid now starts emerging uh, they'll be ready for a second deep so that'll be oh probably in the first part of June but, uh, we're gonna leave them alone for now we could even feed them if we wanted to All right, let's get over to this one here. 23. Boy, look at all the bees. Yeah, I'd say this one has more bees in it than the other one. Got six solid frames of bees, easy. I need to put the date on these frames. 21. So I know what year I put them in. Since I can't run that queen down into a bottom box, uh, I'm going to give them a little smoke just to kind of get them out of my way here. Make it a little easier to work around them. There we go. Now this is heavy. It's going to have some nectar in it. 
yeah lots of shiny nectar right here so uh this one didn't no danger of starving basically uh, another nectar frame that they're working on a little bit not a whole lot in there here's our pollen so we hopefully will see some uh, brood on the next frame <clears throat> I like how these bees are calm and gentle there's not one bee buzzing my head I'm not seeing larvae, but I'm seeing a milky white down on the bottom of these cells. So I think that's probably eggs and they've, they're uh, just emerging. So uh, I think we may be good here. Knock on wood. I'm seeing some more pollen on this side. They're a little unorganized. And there's our queen. There she is right there. She doesn't look quite as big as that other one, so she may, you know, not quite be laying yet. But she does look bred. Let's get over here and see if we find any, any more larvae. Yeah, so we got, a, got us a bunch of white larvae right here. So that's all we need to see. We need to get out of here and leave them alone. She's laying well. Oh, I broke it. Baby Huey. Okay. Man, that is great news. Uh, got two mated queens laying away. Probably four to five weeks. These will be ready for a second deep uh, if, if it, we keep on going. Uh, man, we need our nectar flow to kick in solid. Uh, I'm concerned about that. I'm afraid we're not gonna have hardly any honey crop this year because of the deep freeze we had. All the hives are recovering, so. Uh, that's the end of the video so hey uh, give me a thumbs up if you would and don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out and uh we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care